Hi everyone, welcome back to my garden. Today, I'm going to be cleaning out leaves, repotting plants, and just cutting some overgrown gnarly plants and succulents. And you are going to be joining me, hopefully. So sit down, relax, just unwind and watch me do all the, the hard work here. Um, yeah, as you can see, my garden we've had some windy days so the leaves have been falling off the trees and they are just a mess in my garden they um, always find a way to get in between the rock and as you can see I'm also battling spider webs this is the time where all the spiders and the ants and the critters come out and we have to deal with them in my garden so um, I am going to be using two techniques to clean out the leaves. My first one is my blower. And I love this Ryobi blower because it has um, a trigger where you can control the airflow, which is great. I've used another blower and it was just too powerful. It used to move the rock around. And with this blower, I can go ahead and control um, how strong I want the air to come out and it just does a great do job it does not move the rocks it just uh, tackles those leaves and a perk of using the blower to maintain your garden as you can see you can remove the spider webs but also you can clean those beautiful rosettes and like here on the Sahara or succulents that you're not supposed to really touch because you will damage them all the that dust that protects them against the sun falls off so this is a great way to clean your succulents by not touching them just use air and you can clean all those crevices where the leaves and the critters hide and it just makes your garden look beautiful and it helps you maintain it so as you can see here I am using this awesome blower. It will not take all the leaves off um, out of the, the rock or in between, but it does a great job. And I'll show you what I do after I use the blower. Here I am blowing the rosemary. That sounded terrible. I'm using the blower to clean the rosemary and um all right it does a great job with the spiders as i mentioned and it is just so satisfying to get those rosettes and just those aloes clean from in between the the crevices here you see me blowing the leaves off of the belen echeveria And I don't know if you can see that, my stub right there, where my red ruffled echeveria is, has babies, so that's awesome. But yep, here I am, just using this thing, and again, it is a time saver, and there's no other way that I could protect my garden from getting all these leaves without chopping all the trees or netting them and that's not an option either way you know you don't want to keep these beautiful plants covered by netting the whole time because you want to enjoy them you want to see them so you have to learn to deal with what you have to deal with and in order for me to keep these on the ground this is what happens but you know what even in pots when it's a windy day I have pots in my front yard with succulents and the leaves find a way to mess up my pots. They get in between and I have to go out and clean them also. But yeah, here you're seeing my second method. And I actually was showing, you see all these leaves here because I was showing you this demonstration before I actually blew the garden. But um, yeah, you just pick them up I bought these long tongs and they have plastic coating on the tips so they're less likely to damage your plants but still even these tip these will damage the surface of this type of succulent but they are great because they're long and if you have 
cacti. They're great. This is a jumbled mess of uh, um, mint truffles um, cotyledon. And it's just elongated. It was under the puntia. I just yanked it out and cut off all the heads. And these will be resting in the shade for a while so that I can go ahead and plant them. But that is an awesome plant that was part of my duties today. I had to clean under the puntias. They were full of weeds and I had overgrown cotyledon. So, but look how beautiful my garden looks. And the baby, the baby um, Saharas are doing great. Yeah, but oh my gosh, so gorgeous. I um, I have some news um, that I'll be mentioning later on in this um, video about my garden. It could be devastating, but it could be an opportunity. So, all right. My next thing here is we are making drainage holes in this big old pot. And uh, my hubby's using a cement bit with an uh, impact drill. And yep, here you're seeing we wet it a little bit. And it's easy to go through. Don't make them too close together because this is terracotta. And it will um, kind of um, pulverize. If you make them too close, you'll have a humongous hole with time. So you want to keep these holes further away. But yeah, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be planting one of my tomatoes in here. Um, it, this one was in a raised bed, and I have two others in a raised bed. But look how tall they are. Apparently, they are indeterminate, which means they will keep growing. So I had to take them out of the self-watering pots and put it here. But yeah, here you're seeing a look of my beautiful clean garden. Of course, there's still some leaves here and there. But for the most part, I was able to clean it and blow all the dust and the spider web off. And it just looks great. The aloes, this Cameronia is very green. Usually it gets um, very red and stressed, but Right now, I guess it's getting a lot of water because they turned up the darn water from the other side and it's an ongoing battle. But everything looks beautiful. I kind of strategically planted things where they wouldn't get too wet. And um, the babies are doing great. Look at these Sahara babies. Um, and just the agaves and the paddle plants. Look at this fantastic. Yep, so the Copper Spoons is doing great. It bushed out and it's looking beautiful. Here are the tomatoes. There's been a bounty in the garden. I have so many tomatoes, some cherry pear tomatoes, a bunch of jalapenos. I've harvested eggplants and cucumbers. And it has just been um, a learning experience and um, an awesome experience to have your garden um, produce food for you. Here's the cucumber. I had to re-vine it to the side and, and help it get more sun because it was turning yellow. And I treated everything with neem oil so the bugs would um, not bug everything, <laughs> literally. And here's the meal we made after spending the day in the garden cleaning. We grilled, cut some jalapenos and some eggplant and some sweet potatoes and some veggie burgers so okay so this is the news that I wanted to share with you guys um, I may be having to uproot all these plants and move them due to the association that will be replacing this fence that is behind my garden uh, bed of succulents and my apuntias which is going to be devastating. I don't even know how I'm going to be moving those apuntias, but um, yeah, this has been uh, an ongoing thought process here of what I'm going to be doing. Um, it's not going to take long to replace the fence, but I do have to remove them because they'll step all over them. So I've been thinking about moving some of my succulent garden to the other side of uh, my 
yard. Um, now I have succulents in pots in this area, but I'm thinking of actually putting some in the ground. Even though, as you see, I have a leaf problem in this area also, because there's humongous trees everywhere. Here in the corner, I tend to kind of like move out of the corner due to the air currents. But um, if I am not going to put, be putting them in the ground, I'm going to probably make some type of a raised bed situation for my succulents in this area. So stay tuned for that. Um, I will bring you guys along so you can see how I do it and what I do. Here you're seeing my um, euphorbias. Um, I will be planting these in the ground in the near future. And I'm also going to be chopping off some arms off of this buddy. Probably this, this one in the front from this Monstros. It did take on, it. we straightened it up uh, not long ago in a previous video and it's doing great but um, I will be chopping these because as you see this San Pedro I had to cut it because it was damaged it gave off a lot of arms but I want those arms to look pristine in the ground so I will be cutting them and callousing them so yeah that was the news um, there will be a lot of changes in my garden in the coming months maybe and um, I will bring you along so again thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing welcome to all the new subscribers I hope you are happy and healthy wherever you are I will talk to you guys later